folks it's Richard Jean the fishing machine here it's an overcast day been raining all night long I believe the rain's over with if it's not I'll come back to my truck and get a raincoat but I'm going fishing today I'm going to do something a little bit different usually on this channel I'll uh, pick the species that I want to catch and catch them but today I'm fishing here at Gunnersville Dam and I'm just going to walk the rocks from the bank and see what we can fish, what we can fish, what we can catch, excuse me. Uh, there's no telling what you'll catch. I don't even know what's running, I uh, have no clue, but I'm going to fish a few different baits. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take four rods down there with me and haul them around because I really don't know what i got to do to catch fish. But there's a lot of different species you can catch below any dam in the United States. Now this dam, uh, here on the Tennessee River, you could possibly catch a smallmouth, hybrids, you could catch a striped bass, uh, drum, largemouth, what if I, what I leave out, spotted bass, white bass, there's no telling. But come with me, let's just see what we can catch. This is what I call fun fishing. You never know. There we go see what we got here folks I'm using a different bait right here mm. loosen my drag off I ain't got my 10 pound line got a lot of current right here look at him look at him that's a white bass and I caught him off a rooster tail when all else fails use, use a rooster tail you to get them. I thought it was a small hybrid for just a second, but he didn't really give me what I needed. Y'all know what I mean. But it's a good white bass. Let's let him go. There he goes. Real quick, like. All right. <laughs> Maybe a rooster tail bite right here. Now, a rooster tail will catch anything that swims. It's a white one. This is a half ounce. I'm going to bomb it out there. I'm going to let it hit the bottom. Right there. And just a, just a wind. That little spinner does the work. Let's catch another one. There we go. What do we got? I don't have no idea. Not very big. But he was out wee out there about two or three feet from the bottom. <clears throat> Boy, they can fight in this current. He ain't very big. It's a white bass. Flip him up here. Rooster tail, that's the only thing I've thrown everything in the book at these fish, folks. That's the only thing I can get them to hit right now. Y'all cross your fingers. I'm wanting a hybrid. So bad I can't stand it, but let's let this little fish go. 
my timing was probably wrong. I was may not be running, I don't know. They should be a little bit going back. That's a pretty good sized white bass though. When I do get a bite, they just murder it. But that fish was wee out there. I'm just letting that thing go to the bottom. Very bottom. And that's where they seem to be. Once it makes contact, I'll start reeling it back real slow. I just got a bite right there. <laughs> he didn't get it, but he sure did hit it. Let's throw back out there again. They might be a few fish right here in front of me now. There we go. Oh, man. Skip Jack Hare and hit a quiet rooster tail. <laughs> giving to this fella right here. He's catching them for catfish bait. Yeah, you will. There we go. Ooh, I'm going to loosen my drag, folks. This is a bass on a rooster tail. That just goes to show a rooster tail to catch anything. What about that? It's a large mouth. Let's be easy with him right here so he don't hurt himself. That's a fat little bass. I mean, he nailed that rooster tail. A rooster tail is an old bait. I believe it's older than me, and that's pretty old. And it still catches fish. Let's let him go. Go on back in there. Well, folks, that's the end of it. Uh, you know, I made a lot of interest in people along the way. I'm talking about a lot of them. Um, and uh, their names are hard to remember, but I remember faces. But today I met Thomas Bobo. He's uh, He works for the state of Alabama Department of Conservation and Natural Resources, uh, District 2 office. Um, I tell you, he was a very informative, respectful young man. Had a great conversation with him for about 20 minutes. And... Um, Thank you very much, Thomas Bobo, for talking to me. <laughs> um, you know, talking about memories, today's video was really based on uh, a video, something I haven't done, folks, since I was real young. Me and my daddy used to throw these rooster tails back when I was first married. I was married when I was 18 years old, married Mama Sue. And we'd walk along the banks catching all different species. And sometimes we'd get lucky and catch him big hybrid strap. Um, that's what I wanted to do today, but unfortunately they wasn't running in that area. But a rooster tail is real versatile. It's an old bait, catches fish still today. And I, I enjoyed that, just something different. And I want to thank y'all very much for watching. All the great comments, everything you've done for this channel. Like I said before, it's been remarkable. And, hey, 